In this Blender tutorial I will show you how to blur a moving face or object by using a mask locked to a single track point. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. I should be using version 2.8 um, and I've assumed that you're a complete uh, novice when it comes to using Blender so some of the um, points I should go over. Um, apologies to anybody who knows a bit more about Blender. Okay, so I'm going to remove this tab so just hit return on your keyboard. Then come to the top sort of left of the screen just above the highlighted um, select box and you should see something that says current editor type for this area 3D view. Left click on this then left click movie clip editor left click on the open tab and then you're going to have to navigate to the folder where your video is stored now if you want to see thumbnails of your video next to the AZ button to the left there's a thumbnail button left click on this and you should be able to see all your uh, videos left click on the video you're going to use and then select open clip by using your left mouse button again and this will bring the video into this editor but it won't be set up this isn't like a normal video editor where everything's done for you you have to set a few things up so I'm going to just drag this panel over a bit and you've got details of your video so it's telling me the size is 920 by 1080 and the frame rate is 25 frames per second and the end frame is nine, uh, 396 so I need to just change a few things there's a little tab here that looks like a printer it's the output tab, left click on this so the first thing you'll note you need to check is the aspect ratio so at present at 1920 by 1080 this is correct you can change these manually um, by typing in a different aspect sizes if you need to leave the setting at 100% and also the frame rate so it's 25 frames per second this says frame rate 24 so I'm going to left click and then select 25 now the other thing 396 frames long Blender always as default comes in at 250 frames so I would only get 250 frames of this 396 now you can change this here manually by typing in the length of your video or down here or you can just come up to set scene frames left click on this and it's now changed to 396 now because I want to render this, this track quite quickly I'm not looking for too much detail um, so I'm going to actually use what they call a, a proxy clip it's a, it's a lower definition, smaller file um, and it means that I can go through this a lot quicker um, it won't affect the final outcome so in this box here where it says proxy time code just left click on the little box put a tick in it and then open it up using the arrow and you've got some build um, original settings you can't select one at a time because it will select them all you have to deselect by left clicking on them so I'm going to left click on 25% if you've got a lower definition video you could probably get away with 50 even 75 but I'm going to go for 25 and then I'm going to left click on build proxy time code and you'll see a little bar coming over here and I'll come back to this when it's finished okay well that's finished rendering now I don't want to use this and I don't want to actually use the view of a 25 basically when you're editing in Blender you can edit using proxies and change proxy size here from none to 25% but for tracking 
um, a mask it doesn't work very well so what I'm going to do actually is remove this video by left clicking on the cross up here and then again I'm going to go into open and go back to the folder where my video was stored somewhere and you'll see a, a box that says BL proxy if you click on this a couple of times and you'll have your proxy video so left click on the video and then left click open clip as you can see it's a lot smaller so just roll your mouse to zoom in and you can see it's very pixely it won't look like this when you're finished so I'm going to just drag this over and get this out of the way so you can zoom in and out by rolling your middle mouse so this remember your middle mouse for zooming in and out and also hold down your middle mouse for moving around because you may want to view different areas of your video so I'm gonna I want to track this face here and sometimes it doesn't always work but by pixelating the video you can get a better track of the video so I'm going to do is come over here and left click on add and I'm going to literally just left click in the middle of the face roll my middle mouse to zoom out and then next to track left click and then use the left use your left mouse button to track forward and as you can see it got to frame 57 and it failed so I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to press G for grab and I'm going to just move this on only a little bit and then left click and I'm going to go track forward again and now it's jumped to 116 and I'm going to press G again and I'm going to move it very slightly left click and track forward again Hold down G and move it very slowly or just a very small amount and track forward again. Again using G for grab, I'm going to move it again little bits at a time. Track forward, grab again. This time I can come over here, track forward press G and go go about here track forward and we're getting near the end of this here so I'm gonna just come over by using my middle mouse press G for grab try and find an edit let's go there it's just a matter of moving this around very slightly so hopefully it locks on a bit longer getting there now so I'm going to press G we'll move this back here track forward and to be honest with you there's no point in tracking any further so we'll go with that so I need to make sure I don't render any more of this video now um, next to the start box the left hand side is telling me that this is 310 frames to this point here so in the end box I'm going to literally left click and type in 310 and hit return. That means this video will render up to 300, frame 310. Once you get used to doing this you'll find it's all pretty obvious and you can adjust things in the editor. So let's go back to the beginning by using this back button here and then press play and hopefully it will be locked on to your moving face or object so that'll do, that's good, not looking too bad back to the beginning 
Look for the box that says tracking, left click on this and left click on mask. Now I'm not going to use any of these, it'll get too complicated, I'm just going to show you how to simply create a circular mask. If you come up to add, left click, then left click, add circle and it'll come in at the bottom left hand side of the screen. Again, if you press G for grab, you can move your mouse and center this circle over the area you want to mask. And before doing anything, we're going to use the keyframe um, to just maybe tweak this a little bit. So, there's a little box here with a round uh, circle in it. Left click on this and this sets up automatic keyframes. Now if you press S on your keyboard you can reduce by moving your mouse the size of your mask. Don't make it too small, just just enough to sort of I don't know one and a half times the area you're gonna mask because when you blur it it will feather inward so you could end up with a blur that doesn't quite cover everything. So just I don't know you can sort of see here roughly the size I've got. I'm going to press S again. I'll make it about that size there. Okay. Now, once you've sort of decided on the size you want, um, initially, come up to the mask box here, left click on it, and then left click make parent. And now if you play forward, you should find your mask follows the track point. Okay, now I'm going to go to the end. Now this mask isn't big enough now, so I'm going to press S and increase it in size. I'm going to press G and recenter it. And because I've set this keyframe, automatic keyframes up, when I go back to the beginning, again I'm using my middle mouse to zoom in and out and move about. If I press play, the mask will gradually get bigger. You can change this at any point in your video. To be honest with you, it's not looking too bad. I think I might just leave that. You can drag this timeline over by holding your left mouse button down on the marker. So it's not looking too bad. I think I might change it here. So I'm going to press G again and move this over very slightly. That's G for grab and then... quite happy with that, it's working better than I thought it would. <laughs> Incidentally, you can change the size of your timeline by rolling your middle mouse and you can also again holding your middle mouse down move it around. So let's just go through this a bit more. That'll do for this tutorial. As you can see you can move it about and it will still track with the marker but you can tweak your position about. So I'm not going to go into any more than that. So I'll just go back to the beginning. So I'll set you up um, for when you go into the video editor. Okay. Top of the screen underneath Blender next to scripting is a plus sign. Left click on this. Then next to video editor left click video editing. Everything should still be set up so if you remember I changed this to end at 310 and I got 25 frames per second and my aspect ratio is still the same. So by doing it this way using this plus sign you should still have all your settings set up. Again 
make sure you at the beginning track one should tell you here okay there's also different ways of bringing videos into your video editor I'm not going to go into great detail all I'm going to do is come down to add here left click on this and then movie and then go to the folder where your video is stored again use thumbnail if you want and don't use the, the proxy use the original so left click on the original and then add movie strip okay with this blue strip selected just left click on it to make sure it is selected come up to add what you want to do is left click on adjustment layer now this will come in at 25 frames long so I know this is 310 so I'm going to just roll my middle mouse till I can see the end if you hold your pointer over the left hand side and then hold your left mouse button down you can drag this down and you'll see there's a number at the top which gradually changes so I'm going to just drag this over so that it says 310 there you are, 310 matches this up here OK now I need to bring the mask in so with this selected, this adjustment selected I need to go over to this side left click on the modifiers and then again on add strip modifier and again on mask select mask using your left mouse button then in the box next to mask again use your left mouse button and then again on mask now you're almost set up to go but nothing will have changed because you haven't blurred the mask so with this adjustment still set up come over to add and next to effect strip left click on Gaussian Blur I'm going to zoom in so you can see what's what's actually happening so because we haven't set up the blur nothing's changed reselect strip and in the effects strip box you should see something that says size X size Y so this basically blurs your video on the XY axis so I'm gonna look at this I don't know I'm gonna type in something like 20% on the X and then 20% on the Y and well, I think that's blurred out quite nicely all I can do now is play this and see if it works reasonably well it won't play that quickly because it's processing this as well as playing but you can get some idea I think that's working good enough for what I want to do so I'll go back to the beginning oh incidentally just because I brought the original clip in it will be long it will look like it's longer it won't it will finish here which is in this instance 310 frames long it should just be able to see a black line this bit here won't get used okay now we need to set up our render So you should still be in the output box but if not just left click on the output box and next in the input box next to TMP there's a little folder left click on this decide where you're going to save your video so I'm going to just go straight into the desktop because I'm very lazy and in this box here I'm going to type in I don't know something a mask you can put what you want and then left click on accept you'll have to do this twice probably so that's set up that's where your video is going to go next thing where it says PNG if you rendered this now 
I, in this instance I'd end up with 310 pictures which I don't want so left click on PNG and then FFmpeg there's a little box here which says encoding you can open up by left clicking on the arrow and you'll have lots of different video settings you can go to I'm not going to change anything because it just make this tutorial far too long. What I will do is go um, where it says medium quality. I'm going to just select high quality and then audio. The green tab is your audio. You need to decide whether you want to have audio or not. If you do, left click on no audio and select an audio format. So let's go MP3 and you're good to go. Back up to the top left there's a button that says render. Left click on this. Don't left click on render images. Left click on render animation and your video should start rendering and I'll come back to this when it's finished. Once your video is finished rendering hopefully you should have something if I can get into my file browser that plays with a blurred mask over whatever it is that's moving that you want to blur. Hopefully this helps somebody. Thank you for watching. Cheers.